So, good morning, everyone. This hi there. Hi there. This is very, very Wix, um, a London based freelance hairstylist specializing in bridal and keratin treatments. Mm. And I um, connected with Vary in our group and saw some of her beautiful work with hairnets. And I know that that is not something that we do a lot over here in the States. And I know that this group serves everyone all over the world. I'm just amazed by how many people are coming on here. Um, and I just thought I would invite her today to do a demonstration just to eliminate the fear and you know, get your heads out and get some 99 cent nets from Sally's and um, give them a shot. So Barry's going to work on a uh, fun head that's going to show us the technique and take it away, Barry. Hi there, everyone. I'm Barry from London. And I am going to be showing you really easy but effective technique using hair nets on a bridal hair or occasional hairstyling. Um, I am using sort of these kind of nets. So they are, I don't know in the US, but in UK, they usually come in pack of two. Yep. And you need to be sure that you're not taking the bun nets because they are just small, like for the donuts. Make sure that these are the full nets. Yeah. Four different colored of hair. So I thought it would be a good way of showing you how the, how it sort of, implement each other between each other those sections so i basically did just four single ponytails and this section has been divided into two so depending on how thick or thin the hair is or if you want to use extensions you can just wrap it around the ponytail secure it really well and then just work with the extensions so i divided into two back combed and put it in the net so now i had only one bag of gray netting, so that's why you can't even see it. So again, this section is quite thin. So what I would do, I will just do one section. So you just back home. If it's fresh hair, you put a little bit of a hairspray in, or if you blow dry it beforehand, use a bit of mousse to give it hold and structure. But just make sure, if you can, that the top part is smooth because when you start sculpturing and this is a bit messy, it will show through, yeah? Then put the head, put a net over it. As you can see, this pink hair and brown net, you'll be able to see it, but usually we've got blonde or brown or black hair. So choose the nets according to the color. So grab the section of the hair inside and secure it with a pin so see this section so we're gonna do two green now we just got joined by candace hello candace real hair i would back on it really well secure it with a hairspray depending on a hair structure if it's very fine i will comb it out and back on it again so just to build up the hairspray the hold but this is obviously dolly's hair and I'm afraid if I use too much hair, I won't be able to comb it out again. So, I don't know what you guys are using hairspray wise. I've got my favorite for finish up. It's called the cement. My clients laugh because, oh, can you just cement it, please? <laughs> That's when I'm like really done and finished. I said, look, are you happy? And they said, yes, like I will cement it now. There is no going back, any doubts, anything, tell me now. No, 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 it's fine. And then it's like 99% like, oh, can you, no, it's too late because you can't move the hair. I had literally clients sleeping on with the nets and next day it didn't move. She, she wore the same style for two days and two functions and it was just like it's been done freshly in a month. Nice. It's, yeah, she got value for money for sure. So again, if it was real hair, I would spray it and smooth the top section down, yeah? But as I said, I'm afraid I won't be able to comb it back out. It's really hard to find really good mannequin heads in the UK. I don't know how you find it. Okay, maybe when we finish, I will do close-up photos. Okay. Yeah, and then, now this section is quite thick, so I will do three. 
yeah? Now, there is no right or wrong way with this hairstyling. Honestly, guys, it's up to your imagination. Usually, I will so, sort of separate the parting and do the beehive and make sides and stuff. You know, like your usual, like having here the section, right. then, you, then you position the... But because of this exercise and because of the color of the hair, I just did smooth it. I just swept it back, all of it. Um, so we can yeah. see the colors rather than, you know, worry about the front because the front I'm, I'm sure everyone can do and you don't have to have much hair, to be honest, uh, because with the back combing, you're just bulking it up and I always work with ponytail. So there is no sort of pressure on the weight. Like sometimes the bun or the hair up the barrels can can be a bit heavy. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Yes. So with this, because we're working on a basis of ponytail, and not just one ponytail, but few ponytails, the weight of the hair is distributed, so there is no pulling down the hairstyle. So, and the next part is to decide if you want it back or a side. Now, I personally prefer this part, this, this kind of... Um, hairstyling going to the side purely because if you have a bridal or special occasion hair without the tiara without being the bride sometimes it looks like you've got a beehive with a ponytail you can't see anything from the front but when you've got sort of side ponytail sideway then you've got something coming back i mean nobody wants to have those barrel curls like in 80s you know coming from here it's right. so no no nowadays. So if it's if it's sort of sculptured to the side, then from the front you can see something is going on. And now we're getting into sculpturing. This is the most exciting time. And it's so easy because there is no right or wrong way. Honestly. You just start if it was side, you would concentrate on one side or in another. We're doing it from the middle, so I don't want to go really low because of the neck. Maybe she has a like low neck, or maybe she's got high um, yeah. high high dress. So you you yeah. just do it accordingly. But basically, you are just positioning and pinning away, and you can be as intricate or as simple as you as you want it to be. You see already it's starting to be interesting yes and you don't need to double um double secure the pins because it's just putting the netting in that's it and what pins are you using oh i'm just using normal bobby pins okay yeah. Bo bobby pins or whatever you call it if you want to be a bit more intricate can you see how i'm twisting it yes yeah yeah, pinching and twisting. Yeah. So this is it. That's it. That's the whole idea of this of this styling. And it's so quick. Yeah? And if you if you don't like it, you just pull it out and redo. So there is no right or wrong way. What you need to remember is to balance it out. Right. Um so you don't have too much on one side and not enough on the other. Um, but so the netting does all the heavy lifting. Yes. You get to be real creative. Yeah. And this would be really great for fine hair. People who... Oh, my God. Know, yeah, the older... Hair, yeah. You can have just a little bit of length. Um, look, when you... Look at it. I mean, how many pins have I used? Almost yeah, like one. four. Yeah. Already intricate. Mm-hmm. We may have too much hair actually here. <laughs> well, you just keep building her up. You know? Exactly, exactly. So because, because it's um, divided, the hair is divided into sections. So it's not pulling on her scalp. And I'm doing lots of Asian clients, as you could see from my pictures. So sometimes right. I do wedding or bridal or... I don't really do the bride's brides because I don't know if you know, they, do, they go for the look. So they do the makeup and 
the head, right. the sari and all together. And usually one person is specializing in all that. So right. I know how to do most of it, but I don't specialize in it. I'm usually doing the wedding guests. Yes, yes. Enough. But I'm sometimes doing it at five in the morning. They've got one yes. function. Then at lunchtime, they've got another one. And it yep. needs to last till midnight. Right? Exactly. So this kind of hair yeah. would be amazing because it's in a net. So it's not going to drop. It's like, oh, my hair doesn't last. It always drops. And yes, that's you can good... never hold a curl. Mm. That's good Look at it. it you, you've seen how straight this hair was. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I would say is you blow dry it smooth with a bit of bounce. You don't want it dead straight, like from straightness. Okay. Yeah. But really pretty. So it's, it's smooth. Um, and that's it. A con you could also do a, like a combination. So if, say she wants more natural looking curls um, on the top or around her face, you could do some yes. twists yes. and pulls and pinching. And then back here, if she doesn't have a whole lot of hair, you could throw in the hair nets. Look, this is the section. Can you see it? Yeah? Yeah. And just by positioning it and putting fingers in, how pretty does it look? Looks like candy. <laughs> yeah. And, and you just beautiful. pin it with the, bin, with the pins, yeah, with the bobby pins. It's, um, I want to do a, I'm going to do another training on balance and, um, you know, keeping the hairstyle balanced as far as the head shape and, yeah. um, and then I took a flower arranging class years and years ago when I was pregnant with my daughter and anything that we can do to train our eye about balance is going to yeah. help us be more creative. Yeah. Definitely, because we can get scared. Um, and uh, sometimes I need to step away from the style, look elsewhere. Yes. And s come back. And usually what I see is when I'm taking picture on the phone. Yes. It's like having a second look, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you can get, you can get yeah. full eyes. Yep. You can get so nervous and doubting. And if the client is highly anxious, her anxiety is going to come back on you. Mm, yeah, and, definitely. Yeah, so take a break. Go in the back room. Deep breathe. Come back out with fresh eyes. And definitely. believe in yourself. You can, you can get really full eyes. And it's, it's with a haircut. And I'm not sure if you are just a hair up stylist or if you do No, it. I've done it all. <laughs> yeah, but it, it can be the same. Especially when you've got clients with lots of hair. And you are just cutting and cutting and cutting. You know that kind of hair I call them? Oh, you've got a weed. It, it grows under my scissors, right? <laughs> that kind. So, so how long did it take me this? Not long at all. Right? Yeah. So, if you need prepping or if you don't need prepping, but I would definitely, definitely uh, advise you to have a go, have a play, and it's it's a nice. I mean. I get clients to do for two, three, four functions. When there is a wedding on, they just go on forever. Yes. And sometimes they say, oh, I I'm not sure. I don't know what I would want. And they usually have long and thick hands. Oh, I can get my fill on this one. So first time I usually say, okay, so what would you like? And then second time I said, do you trust me? Can I yes. just do whatever? Yeah, just go yes. because by the second time, they get so many compliments. Yes. And, you know, it's nothing nicer than getting recommended after. Like, can I give you a number? So please don't ask. Just give. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's so true because I know a lot of the hairdressers are so bored of the same photos coming in the salon over and over again. And it's not going to change until we say something that, you know, do you want to show up at the event with the same hairstyle yeah. you had last year or every bridesmaid has the same yeah. hairstyle? Yeah. You know, no, do I'm not sure. Different. I'm not sure. I said, come on. Trust me. And, you know, yeah. when, you, when you can get them to trust you, then it's a whole different ball game, honestly. But you need, to be, you need to be showing that then you know what you're doing. Yes. If they can, if they can smell the fear... Mm-hmm. Oh, good. <laughs>
I love, I don't know what you call them, I call them the prong pins. Uh, you can just position them wherever and it secures the style a bit more. I think this would be so great for us to start doing more of stuff that's all over the world and really right. shake up our clients. With this style, I mean, uh, personally, I don't like working with fresh flowers because they're usually bulky, too much wire, too much... But with this one, if you've got small bags of uh, carnations or something, small flowers, yeah. you can hide it there. Can you see? Right. It's more depth. Yeah. Yeah. That's really neat. You want to see one more? I've got... If you got the time, sure. Yeah. 